King Solomon, the son of King David and Bathsheba, ascended to the throne of Israel, a young man bestowed with a burden of wisdom and a kingdom of unparalleled influence. His reign, marked by peace and prosperity, became a golden era in the annals of biblical history. The scriptures declare Solomon as the wisest man who ever lived, a gift granted by God himself in response to Solomon's humble request for wisdom to govern his people justly. In the lush gardens of the newly built Temple of Jerusalem, Solomon's decisions echoed with divine insight. Among his many accomplishments, he authored the books of Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, and the Song of Solomon, texts that continue to guide and inspire through their profound understanding of human nature and morality. Solomon's wisdom, however, was not confined to the written word, it was demonstrated spectacularly when two women came before him with a baby each claimed as her own. In a stroke of judicial brilliance, Solomon proposed to divide the living child in two, revealing the true mother through her desperate plea for the baby's life. This story, captured in 1 Kings 3 verses 16 to 28, cements Solomon's legacy as a ruler whose judgments were as sharp as they were compassionate. Yet, Solomon's life was not without its complexities. His diplomatic marriages to foreign princesses, hundreds of them, brought wealth and alliances, but also led him astray to worship other gods, a transgression that would eventually lead to the fracturing of his kingdom. Despite his divine wisdom, Solomon's heart was led into idolatry, a poignant reminder of the human frailty that even the wisest cannot escape. Solomon's relationship with God was both intimate and turbulent, characterized by grand acts of worship and troubling lapses in faith. The construction of the temple, a monumental project that housed the Ark of the Covenant, was perhaps his most significant act of devotion, fulfilling his father David's dream and establishing a fixed abode for the presence of God among the Israelites. Yet, as his reign progressed, Solomon's many foreign wives turned his heart after their gods, and his adherence to these practices starkly contrasted with the divine wisdom he so famously embodied. His reign, though marred by these personal failings, left an indelible mark on the history of mankind. Solomon's writings in Proverbs offer timeless wisdom on the complexities of human relationships and the virtues that sustain them. His Proverbs often warn of the perils of deceit and manipulation, traits he observed in those around him, possibly even in his own court. For instance, Proverbs 31 verse 30 cautions, Charm is deceptive, and beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. This insight into the transient nature of charm and beauty underscores a recurring theme in Solomon's teachings, the search for enduring truth and righteousness. As we delve into the narrative of Solomon's interactions with women, both wise and deceitful, we uncover a tapestry of lessons on integrity, loyalty, and the pursuit of wisdom. From the Queen of Sheba, who arrived with hard questions and left in awe of Solomon's wisdom, to his own wives, whose influences tempted him towards folly, Solomon's life is a testament to the complexity of human interactions and the profound impact they can have on the course of history. Let us then explore the seven cautionary themes Solomon laid out, themes as relevant today as they were in the tapestried halls of his palace. Each point a reflection on human nature, each story a beacon that guides us through the treacherous waters of manipulation, deceit, isolation, infidelity, wastefulness, slander, and ignorance. In these teachings, we find not only warnings but also the keys to a life of integrity and wisdom, anchored in the fear of God and the love of truth. In the tapestry of biblical narratives, the story of Solomon's encounter with a cunning woman adept in the arts of charm and manipulation vividly illustrates the dangers of such a lieu. This tale, though not detailed in the canonical texts, could be seen as a parable derived from the essence of Solomon's teachings in Proverbs. Imagine a scene in Jerusalem, the air thick with the hustle of market day. A woman, known among the townspeople for her breathtaking beauty and charming wit, makes her way through the crowds. Her presence turns heads, her smile disarms the unsuspecting. This woman, adept at using her allure to bend men's wills, sets her sights on a young, influential advisor to King Solomon. Her method is subtle yet effective. She flatters the advisor, weaving words like silk, 
praising his insight and importance in the kingdom. Her words, sweetened with honey, mask her true intentions to sway the advisor to grant her family unlawful favors, manipulating legal disputes unjustly in their favor. Solomon, ever observant, soon hears of these disruptions in his court. Intrigued and concerned, he decides to summon the woman and the advisor to his presence. In a grand hall, under the weighty gaze of the king, the woman continues her act of innocence and charm. However, Solomon, gifted with divine wisdom, sees through the facade. He addresses the woman with a quote that mirrors the wisdom of Proverbs 31 verse 30, charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Solomon's words fill the room, a stark reminder of the transient nature of physical allure and the enduring value of spiritual integrity. The king then turns to Proverbs 26 verses 24 to 26 to expose her deceit fully, enemies disguise themselves with their lips, but in their hearts they harbor deceit. Though their speech is charming, do not believe them, for seven abominations fill their hearts. Their malice may be concealed by deception, but their wickedness will be exposed in the assembly. Challenged directly by Solomon's insight, the woman's facade crumbles. The truth of her intentions is laid bare before the court, her schemes revealed and thwarted. This moment serves as a powerful testament to Solomon's wisdom and a clear example to his people of the perils hidden beneath surface charm. Through this dramatic encounter, Solomon teaches his followers an invaluable lesson on the importance of discerning character and intentions, regardless of outward appearances. His wise governance, strengthened by his adherence to divine principles, reaffirms his legacy as a king whose insight penetrates beyond the seen to the unseen, from the fleeting to the eternal. In the rich tapestry of King Solomon's rule, the biblical account of his interaction with the Queen of Sheba stands out as a poignant lesson on integrity and the perils of deception. The Queen, intrigued by the reports of Solomon's unmatched wisdom, journeyed from the ends of the earth to test him with riddles and trick questions, her caravan laden with spices, gold, and precious stones. As she entered Jerusalem, the splendor of her retinue was eclipsed only by the cunning hidden within her heart. Intent on challenging Solomon, she presented herself not merely as a seeker of wisdom, but as a strategist poised to undermine his reputation through her deceptive tests. In a grand audience at his palace, Solomon welcomed the queen with all the honors due his esteemed guest. Undeterred by the spectacle, the queen of Sheba posed her riddles and presented enigmatic objects, each a test of perception and intellect designed to trip the wise king. However, Solomon, Guided by divine insight, answered each question with profound clarity and discernment, his responses not only meeting but surpassing the expectations of his challenger. The scripture vividly captures this exchange, illustrating Solomon's acumen and the unfolding of the queen's realization of his wisdom. The moment of truth is encapsulated in 1 Kings 10 verse 3, and Solomon answered all her questions, nothing was too hard for the king to explain to her. As each enigma was unraveled, the queen's deceptive veneer melted away, replaced by genuine respect and awe. This transformative encounter reached its climax when Solomon, aware of her initial deceit, addressed her with a gentle rebuke masked in wisdom, as reflected in Proverbs 12 verses 19 to 20, truthful lips endure forever, but a lying tongue lasts only a moment. Deceit is in the hearts of those who plot evil, but those who promote peace have joy, Chastened and enlightened, the Queen of Sheba confessed her subterfuge, her spirit conquered not by the splendor of Solomon's court nor the breadth of his knowledge, but by the integrity and peace that his wisdom cultivated. Overwhelmed by the spiritual depth of his answers and the peaceful domain over which he ruled, she proclaimed, the report I heard in my own country about your achievements and your wisdom is true. But I did not believe these things until I came and saw with my own eyes 1 Kings 10 verses 6-7. In Solomon's treasury of wisdom, he addresses numerous facets of life, including the prudent management of finances. The book of Proverbs contains many insights that stress the importance of wise stewardship over one's resources. 
Solomon's teachings on this matter can be exemplified through a narrative focusing on a woman of Jerusalem who, despite her wealth, exemplified wastefulness and poor financial management to her family's detriment. The story unfolds in the bustling markets of Jerusalem, where a wealthy widow known for her lavish lifestyle attracted the attention of the city. Her days were spent acquiring luxurious garments and exotic perfumes, hosting extravagant feasts and indulging in every whim without a thought for the morrow. Her spending was unrestrained, her parties the talk of the town, yet her financial foundation was crumbling beneath the spectacle. Observant of his people's behaviors, Solomon learned of her through reports of her increasingly frequent debts and the distress of her household servants who feared the loss of their livelihood. Concerned for her and her family's welfare, Solomon decided to impart wisdom that could restore balance to her life. He invited the widow to his palace, where he gently introduced the principles of wise financial management through the scriptures. Solomon quoted from Proverbs 21 verse 20, The wise store up choice food and olive oil, but fools gulp theirs down. He explained that true wisdom in finances lies not in the abundance of possessions, but in the prudent management and preservation of one's resources. To further guide her, Solomon shared Proverbs 23 verses 4 to 5, Do not weigh yourself out to get rich, do not trust your own cleverness. Cast but a glance at riches, and they are gone, for they will surely sprout wings and fly off to the sky like an eagle. He counseled her on the fleeting nature of wealth and the importance of investing in what endures, such as the well-being of her family and the future of her children. The widow, moved by Solomon's counsel, recognized the folly of her ways. She realized that her extravagant spending had not only jeopardized her family's financial security but had also set a poor example for her children. Motivated by Solomon's wisdom, she resolved to adopt a more measured approach to her finances, focusing on saving and investing wisely. She began to plan for the future, teaching her children the value of moderation and foresight. In Solomon's rich repository of wisdom, the consequences of spreading slander and gossip are heavily underscored, warning of the disruption these behaviors can cause in both social and professional contexts. Through the book of Proverbs, Solomon teaches the destructive power of the tongue and the importance of guarding against harmful speech. Imagine a narrative set in the court of King Solomon, involving a well-regarded official and a newcomer ambitious to rise in the ranks. The newcomer, a woman of sharp intellect but envious disposition, notices the respect and authority the official commands within the court. Rather than striving to earn her place through merit, she decides to use slander as her tool to unsettle the established order and advance her position. She begins subtly, planting seeds of doubt about the official's loyalty and integrity in the minds of her colleagues. Her whispers spread like wildfire through the corridors of power, morphing into rumors that reach Solomon himself. The official, unaware of the source of these rumors, finds his reputation tarnished and his influence waned. Observant and wise, Solomon decides to address the situation not by immediate accusation, but through the illumination of truth and wisdom. He calls his court together, including the accused official and the scheming newcomer, and shares a teaching from Proverbs 26 verse 20, without wood a fire goes out, without a gossip a quarrel dies down. He explains how gossip serves as fuel for conflict and discord within any community. To further emphasize the lesson, Solomon quotes Proverbs 16 verse 28, a perverse person stirs up conflict and a gossip separates close friends. He speaks on the harm that comes from sowing seeds of discord and how it can irreparably damage relationships and trust within a community. In the presence of the entire court, Solomon invites anyone with proof of the official's supposed disloyalty to come forward. No one does, as the rumors are baseless. He then subtly warns against the dangers of envy and the misuse of speech to advance one's own ends. The woman, realizing her scheme has been exposed and that Solomon's wisdom has seen through her intent, confesses her actions, moved by the king's insight and the gravity of her misdeeds. The official's reputation is restored, and the woman, though chastened, 
is given a chance to redeem herself through genuine service and contribution to the court. In the wisdom-laden reign of Solomon, the value of heeding wise counsel and the consequences of ignoring such guidance are themes deeply embedded in his teachings. Solomon himself, a paragon of wisdom granted by God, often emphasized the importance of listening to wisdom and its role in achieving a fruitful life. This principle is vividly illustrated in a narrative that could be seen as an extended metaphor derived from the essence of Solomon's teachings in Proverbs. In this story, we encounter a young artisan in Jerusalem, skilled in his craft, but headstrong and often dismissive of advice. His father, a seasoned craftsman revered in the city for his expertise and wisdom, regularly offers counsel to his son, hoping to steer him towards not only technical proficiency but also prudent business practices and moral integrity. Despite his father's reputation and proven wisdom, the young artisan sees his advice as outdated and restrictive. Driven by ambition, he decides to embark on a risky venture, investing heavily in expensive materials to attract the city's elite, ignoring his father's warnings about the fickleness of such clients and the instability of relying on high-stakes commissions. As Solomon hears of this young man's struggles, his debts mounting and his stress increasing, he decides to intervene, recognizing a valuable teaching moment not only for the young artisan but for the community at large. Solomon invites the artisan to the palace, where he shares wisdom from Proverbs 12 verse 15, the way of fools seems right to them, but the wise listen to advice. He discusses the importance of humility and the willingness to consider counsel from those more experienced. Solomon also cites Proverbs 19 verse 20, listen to advice and accept discipline, and at the end you will be counted among the wise. He emphasizes that true wisdom is not just inherent ability but also the capacity to learn from others, to grow through listening, and to adapt based on sound guidance. As we draw the curtains on our exploration of Solomon's timeless wisdom, let us reflect on the profound lessons embedded in his teachings. Solomon, a king whose wisdom was bestowed by the divine, understood deeply the complexities of the human heart and the intricacies of our interactions. His words, laid down in the scrolls of Proverbs, serve not merely as cautionary tales, but as guiding lights for those who seek to live a life of integrity, wisdom, and understanding. In today's world, where the pace of life hastens and the noise around us grows ever louder, Solomon's wisdom calls us to pause, to listen, and to discern. It urges us to look beyond the surface, to seek truth in our dealings, and to cherish the bonds of community and family. His teachings remind us that while the challenges of life are many, the path of wisdom is always open to those who choose to walk it. Let us take these lessons to heart, applying them not only in moments of quiet contemplation but in the rush and tumble of our daily lives. May Solomon's wisdom inspire us to choose integrity over convenience, truth over deceit, and wisdom over folly. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the Wise King's Insights. If you found value in these stories and reflections, please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more explorations into the wisdom of the ages. Your engagement helps us bring more enriching content to you. Until next time, may wisdom guide your path, and may your days be filled with learning and growth.